gas and truck. Damn it, boy. What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another episode of Honda Street Garage. We are continuing with the musical swaps. I'm going to explain some things real quick. I hate doing a bunch of long talking in the beginning of the video because it drags out, people wanna skip ahead, but there's been a lot of comments about, hey, what is going on? I thought you were gonna do a K24. What's up with your wiring harness? Uh, what's up, I've seen some stuff for sale. Did you sell your K-Pro? I thought you got K-Pro. So I'm just gonna explain everything really quick, what's going on with my car specifically. I initially planned to do a K24 build and I actually have the K24 A4 sitting over here. The plan is to uh, one day build that bottom end down the road. Right now, it's just not really feasible to do that right now. An opportunity came up where uh, Charlie wanted to do a swap. He wanted me to do the swap for him and he was like, if you want to take my motor and swap it out, you know, I'll take your motor and sell it instead of mine and you can take mine. Now the reason why I'm taking Charlie's motor is because it is a newer motor. It's got the RBC manifold on it and it also has the shorter final drive transmission, uh, which is something that I would prefer. So the plan is down the road is to use this transmission and this head uh, with the K24 block. Uh, once we can get to the point where we can build the K24 block. As far as wiring is concerned, I found a temporary solution because I had to hack the Chase Bay's harness up a little bit to create a temporary solution. I'm super excited. I've got a brand new harness and I went with a Wireworks harness. And so far, just looking at the harness, it is a world of difference in terms of quality and construction. So here's my K28 II. It's been a great motor, still good. Nothing really wrong with it. It's just time for a little bit of an upgrade. Uh, just pull the car in here, I'm gonna let it cool off, and then we're gonna get started. Okay, I've got the harness off. You can see it kind of hanging out here, right here. Now I've gotta get the uh, bar off. I've got the fuel lines disconnected, the throttle cable disconnected, the shift cables disconnected, the clutch line, uh, slave cylinder disconnected. I've kind of tossed everything over to the corner here. I've got the harness off and removed. Now at this point, I've got to do the one thing I hate more than anything, which is drain the coolant, because I swear to God, you always get something on the floor and gotta clean it up. But all I gotta do now is drain the coolant, get it up in the air, pull the axles and the header off, and then I'll be ready to pull this girl out. So basically this thing is just about ready to come out. All I gotta do is pull the axles out, of course. I'm dying in the heat all day. And then every day, the sky turns black. Got the engine out and uh, safe. Didn't really scratch anything except this right here. Should be good. Here's the motor. Now we got to swap a couple things over from here to there and do a couple other things in the engine bay and then we'll be uh, back at it. Now what I've got to do here is actually put this tensioner and idler pulley onto this motor as well as the AC compressor. Uh, because I'm going to be running AC, obviously, and I need to use this belt and tensioner pulley. 
All right, so we've got this thing ready to go in. I've got a new shorter belt. Um, that's the new belt size. Because I'm running an EP3 idler pulley. I've got the K Tune hoses. I've got all my black hardware swapped over. Thermostat housing. It's ready to drop back in here, but we've got to do a couple things first. Okay, we got this unboxing right here. Blackout my address. Damn, fam. Help, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm doing double up. Got to win. Like oh, shit. Doing? It's Christmas time. Oh, slow down, Playboy. Where's it at, Mama? Ooh. It's a hybrid racing AC kit now. All right, so the one thing we got a DIY on this. These go on the condenser. These we have to drill into the radiator support okay so to put AC in the car for the hybrid racing kit you need a 96 uh, condenser even though my car is a 92 to 95 you have to use a 96 condenser so what they do is they send you these little 3d printed feet so we've got to put that on there cool. all right so I got the first one in I use the regular 10 they do supply the hardware which I will probably do with my new condenser I'm waiting to get in the mail okay so we have them both on here. Now we're going to use these because it's going to sit in the car with this. So we have to use this to mock up where the actual feet are going to go on the radiator support. We mocked up the condenser and we got the feet. I don't know if you can see that. Really, We have the feet drilled in, mounted up there so that the condenser can mount here. We're going to go ahead and put the engine in. Tomorrow I'm going to be uh, swapping out the wiring harness and, and starting to install the AC lines. For now, we're at least going to put the engine in. We have the K20Z1 in the car. Tomorrow I'm definitely gonna be buttoning all this up, trying to get it all put back together. I'm gonna take a break and see where, how far we can get as far as installing everything else. Okay, so here we are back at the shop the next day. About to uh, get the wiring harness out and then begin to put the new Wireworks harness in and start to wire this thing up as well as uh, install some AC lines. Okay, so now that I've removed my old harness, I'm going to be installing the new Wireworks harness. Again, quality on this is superb. Now the first thing that I have to do is get these plugs through the um, hole back here. That it takes a bit of finagling to kind of get this through here. You gotta do each plug one by one. Now we have the harness pulled through the firewall. Now what we're going to do is secure the grommet around all the wires for the fuse box and the harness. Okay, now that we have the harness run through the firewall, basically this harness runs over the valve cover. So the easiest way to make sure you're getting this thing put into the right place is you locate your first coil pack plug Plug that in. Click that on. Then use this to measure out the rest of the way this goes.
So we just about have everything ready to go to check this thing out. I have got everything connected. The exhaust, coolant line, shift linkage, throttle cable, clutch cable, and the new Wireworks harness is completely plugged up. Fits perfectly. It's actually a little cleaner than the Chase Bays. Definitely a lot more proper. And the best part is we also have the hybrid racing AC uh, retrofit kit in here. It uses three of the stock lines and then they provide the rest of the lines it requires a 92 92 civic pressure sensor down there if you can see it a fall slim fan a 96 ac uh condenser and everything else is pretty plug and play now i've still got to wire this up and obviously charge the system before I can get it to work. But right now we need to try to get this thing running. I've got the Honda plugged up with the four Wireworks wires connected. The Wireworks harness is damn nice. It uh, is plug and play for the most part. All you have to do is connect four wires. And the wonderful thing is that they made them color matching and they also give you a, a cheat sheet of what goes where um, to the ECU, to the Honda. We're now gonna give this a try. All right, we are probably gonna have some check engine lights here. Tell you what, these things run and start up with no problem. Okay, what we're gonna do is try to upload this map. gonna sit here this is gonna take a while to try to bleed this coolant it's gonna take a while to bleed the coolant so I'm gonna go ahead and try to uh, deal with bleeding the coolant now and then get this thing cleaned up and put on the ground well I'm throwing the front bumper on I'm gonna get this thing on the ground and then uh, start to take it for a drive pretty sure I've got this thing all bled out definitely gonna have to have this thing tuned anyway so this is where I'm gonna end the video thank you guys so much for watching remember to check out wireworks.com and also hybridracing.com and if you're interested in a harness or an AC kit like I have, uh, go check either one of those companies out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Click like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next episode. Peace out. Keep living your dreams. Get some trucks.